A day in the life of a narcissistic mother. Good morning. You know the drill. I get my haterade ready, and in the meantime, while my haterade's being made, I have to check on my gaslighting because I think something's off with it. I drink my haterade, and now it's time to fix the important thing of the day that is my gaslighting. There we go. It is now on turbo mode. I knew something was off. Time to pick my mask, but you know what? It's too much work. I've been wearing a mask every day this week, and I'm tired, so I'm just gonna be insufferable today. I never remarried after my divorce from my daughter's stupid father. I fucking hate that she looks like him, and I feel resentment towards her every time I look at her stupid face. The poor bastard I've been leading on for the past nine years and will continue to lead on for as long as possible is here to pick me up for our second date in nine years and my motto is keep them waiting. So he's downstairs reading the newspaper and not paying attention to me, not trying to watch me get ready so he can admire how fabulous I look. So guess what that means? Here comes my chorus of very loud noises, pretending to choke, and then I decide to stomp around loudly with my shoes on so everyone can hear me and react to my existence. Time for a hatery break. Oh, my phone is ringing and it's my friend of the week. We actually go way back about 20 years and I recently love bombed her after a discard so that I could start the cycle of abuse all over again. I talk on the phone with my friend extremely loudly. She's asking me for dating advice. So I start berating her with my expert advice and I'm super loud so that I can make sure that my date downstairs can hear me. So he knows that I'm not an idiot and I am nobody's fool. I've kept him waiting for a full hour and he asks me if I'm ready yet. Finally, a supply opportunity. I tell him he's rushing me and he tells me we're not gonna make our reservations that he made a month in advance, but I tell him I don't wanna go anymore so that he grovels at my feet and cries. This is what I did in my 20s and I will continue to do it in my 70s. He grabs my arm after 20 minutes of him begging me to hurry, so I accuse him of assault and tell him I'm gonna call the police. I just had to set up the chaos for our next encounter. Anyways, I'm satisfied with the amount of supply I've gotten from my date, so we go to dinner and I complain about his driving on the way. I tell him he's driving like a crazy person and I could have died. Then I insist that I should have brought my car just in case there's an emergency and I have to leave early. And then he tells me that, what's the difference? I'll just drive you home anyways. If there's an emergency, we would just leave early. Shit, that made so much sense. I gotta up my supply game. We're at the restaurant and he's friends with the owner, so I complain about everything just to embarrass my date. It seems like it's working. I'm just being super insufferable. This is going really well. The date's over and he drops me off at my house and asks to come in. I tell him that if he thinks he's gonna get fresh with me, he can count on never seeing me again. How dare he?